Oh. You want this one? Okay, she's she's angry. I'm gonna have to slow her down a little bit. Look at that. That's splashing. <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel so today we're out here fishing with some big old hog legs called these uh horse mola they got all kinds of different nicknames for them and we're shark fishing you guys you guys have been asking me to do a shark fishing video so uh i'm out here in a really really good spot i got the beach back here behind me if you can't tell already and uh i can barely get set up and shoot this intro and we have been getting lit up by some nice big sharks uh, so let me go ahead and show you how we're going to rig this guy up, show you my real quick spread, and then uh, we'll cut to the action because it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fish caught. I got one back here about to rip again. <laughs> okay. All right, so what we got back here is a four rod spread. This is my basically kind of like how I do with my bull reds, except for I have two rods that are floating on top. But I'll just show you real quick how I've got my uh, bottoms, my bottom setups rigged. Uh, so again, big old horse mullet. I'm going to just take my big old uh, Trocar TK3 7 knot hook here. I'm gonna hook her right up through the nose just like that. Uh, you guys, if you're looking for a sharp hook to uh, do any kind of uh, big fish fishing with, I'm telling you, man, these, these trocars are really dangerously sharp. Uh, the leader is 80 pound mono. I got the, uh, the, the little crimps on, the aluminum crimping sleeves, like you guys have seen me doing my bull red videos. And I've got about a five foot piece. The reason I'm going the five foot piece of this 80 pound leader is so I don't get chafed by big fish. We're going after big sharks, possibly even some tarpon if they will show up. And uh, these are really big long fish. So I don't want that tail to hit my braid. Now right above the uh, connection point here or uh, where the braid connects in is my barrel swivel, 100 pounds, small little plastic bead. And this is a three ounce no roll sinker. And we're just gonna throw this guy out here off to the side as far as we possibly can and uh, we'll let the current kind of sweep it back a little bit. Now, the benefit of these no roll sinkers is the fact that they pretty much stay put. They don't roll around quite a bit. So it will allow you to strategically place your lines in the water in certain, uh, I guess, a spread or an angle. Now, as far as the, reel, the rigs go, Pen Battle 3, 6,000 is the real 55 pound or 60 pound Power Pro braid. I can't remember what it was, honestly. And the Pen Mariner 2. This is a 30 to 50 pound boat rod. Extremely stout. <laughs> we're on again right back here this was another bottom rod so i got billy on the boat with me today uh, as my co-angler my cameraman <laughs> first mate he's pulling a lot of double duties right now and uh, what we're doing here is we're just trying to get all the rods in uh, easy way to lose a, a, a nice fish at the boat is by having a bunch of rods and lines in the water uh, so anytime we hook a nice decent fish I've already told him kind of the, the game plan. Let's just go ahead and get the rods in and we'll, uh, we'll just reset back up once we get the fish in. All right, so I got, I got leader. I don't want to give up on these fish. I don't ever want to assume that it's just a shark. I have a big tarpon roll right at the boat. Come on up. Come on up. There we go, nice black tip. Nice black tip. All right, let's step down here. Let me check that hook set. Oh yeah, right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that girl, huh? Beautiful fish. So I'll just set it in the rod holder real quick. I'll grab my D hooker. Woo, look at that rod. Yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> I he was gonna snap it. If it snaps, it's it's forty bucks. It ain't the other world, yeah. The Mariner Two. I'm telling you, that Mariner Two is a heavy, heavy rod. All right, so I'm putting the glove on here so I can manage the leader. Also, in case she grabs my hand, I got a little bit of extra added protection. I'm gonna try to get her with a uh, a D hooker first. If she doesn't cooperate, then I may just uh, reach down and and cut it off. There we go. Woo, that's a good shark. You know what I'm gonna do now that I think about it, since we're out here just shark fishing, catch and release, I'm gonna go ahead and take that barb off. And that way that barb will help uh, me release the fish a little bit easier and I don't have to struggle quite so much with her at the boat. So we'll just go ahead and recheck all of our gear, man. 
everything looks good you always got to check your leader check your hook if you got a hook sharper now is the time to go ahead and hit that edge again and get it back sharp and uh man we're good to go i tell you these are some seriously strong hooks let me see which way he's crossed no nope, this way one two got it there we go okay oh he's on this one too you got one there yep <laughs> i got one here too <laughs> we doubled up baby <laughs> all right i'm actually going to just leave mine leave mine hooked i'll help you with this one i'll get this out of the way all right so we just doubled up on sharks this guy right here isn't the biggest one but it's a gorgeous gorgeous black tip Oh, surprised she hadn't broke me off yet either. She's got the hook down in her mouth. Oh, no, it's on the outside of her. That's why. Lost it right there. Dang it. That's a dollar. <laughs> All right. Let's get this guy in. Oh, careful. tooth again <laughs> double teeth every time that thing breaks i'm just going to put a little sound in effect in that goes touching because <laughs> those tk3s are about a buck a piece all right well we doubled up on sharks got broke off so i think so far total we have uh broken four and boated two or at least side got them up to the side of the boat we ain't bringing no sharks on board i can tell you that so guys we have we've been putting a lot putting in a lot of work <laughs> we have been uh hooking these big sharks, getting broke off left and right. We put a lot of work in earlier this morning as well, netting a whole bunch of these uh, horse size mullet. We found a creek that was absolutely loaded, which was great because it was a day that I brought my 10 foot cast net. And man, I was able just to throw pancakes on them pretty good. And we loaded up, I got a whole live well right down here full, well over 50 uh, of these big mullet like this. And uh, I tell you, man, you get the right bait, the right gear, the right tackle, and it just really makes for a nice day. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get her to roll around. Okay, there we go. Oh, she just got, okay, so when she spun, oh, there she goes. <laughs> Look at her run now. <laughs> Whoa. When she jumped and spun earlier, she got all wrapped up. Oh. <laughs> She's alive now. Uh, 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 I got an anchor line up there. No. Oh, we're going under. Go deep. Go around. Go under that motor. Go under it. Okay. Okay. We're back. Oh, there she is. Oh, good Lord. Yes. We got a good hook set. Unless it crosses her mouth. <laughs> oh, boy. She's coming in, Billy. <laughs> these are the these are the days where I, I think to myself like maybe I should start wearing shoes when I fish instead of barefoot. There we go. That is that is no slouch there. Easy. Easy. Alright. Let's get you out. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. Oh, that's a different one. That's not a black tip. I don't know what kind of shark that is. She's pretty though. Look how pretty. If you guys know what kind of shark that is, let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I am not uh, shark knowledgeable. She's a little bit more tan. Got it. Got it. Sweet. That was quick. And we got another one on over there. Yeah, go ahead and you take that one. Did you see which right it was? I think it was back right. So that was a really, really neat looking uh, shark there. I don't know what it, what it was. It had some little spots on it, on its face, and it was brown, more brown than gray. All right, 
Good job getting the hook out. Yeah, we got to retie or re-cramp. She, uh, she chafed, chafed that up really, really good. Look at all that chafing on there. Man, she's running sideways. I don't even think she knows she's hooked yet. Oh, she knows now. Boy, these sharks will flat put a wear on you. Uh-oh, uh she's coming towards that anchor line. No, 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 don't get the anchor. Where's she at? She's under the boat. Go around that motor. Okay, we're good. <laughs> good God. Come on up. Jeez, man, these things are so fast. All right. There's a nice little black tip. Hold tight, baby. All right, we got a, we got a good hook set. Whew, man. You talk about a workout. <laughs> no gym needed on sharks on shark fishing trips. Okay. Ooh, baby. I don't like the way that looks on your little gills. Got it. Whew. All right, guys. On that note, we're going to wrap it up and call it a day. We got a gigantic storm out here that we're going to have to cross uh, or cross through to get back home. And uh, Bill and I are flat wore out if you can't hear it, my voice. So what a great day of shark fishing, you guys. You asked for a shark fishing video. I put it out, man. And uh, honestly, I had a great time. A lot of people don't think shark fishing is fun. It's just honestly a lot of a, uh, more of a bycatch if you're out here doing uh, other types of big species fishing. But you know what, man? It's good, uh, it's good to get out here and fight these big sharks. Like Billy was mentioning to me earlier, it's good practice too, right? It allows you to get a chance to uh, feel big fish on your rod and practicing uh, reeling and retrieving techniques for getting these fish in for, you know, bowing to the fish when they jump and things like that. So it's always a blast to honestly put anything on the end of a big line like this. So that's all I got for today, you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care, everyone. God bless.